what makes your coming SOC really innovative in an MSCU um, landscape that is already rather crowded? Our value proposal is uh, to be the first on the market with what you could call an IoT processor. So. Can you tell us which of Dolphin Integration's Silicon IP have been selected by your company and why? Uh, we are uh, in the IoT space uh, facing uh, stringent uh, constraints and um, we quickly realize that the traditional approach that is based on uh, leaving the regulator outside, uh, leaving the real-time clock outside was not, uh, uh, was not an option. I mean, uh, for cost reason, risk reason, poor reason. So, and Dolphin proved to be uh, the only uh, partner from whom we could source uh, a well-articulated solution. So, Meaning, I mean, IP that has been sought together uh, from a system point of view. Uh, something that proved quite instrumental for us to convince ourselves that uh, we were making the right choice is uh, demo chip uh, Dolphin uh, um, manufactured with uh, TSMC in uh, 55. So, uh, first of all, uh, it's obviously a source of uh, true silicon data that can demonstrate that what is in the data sheet is in line with uh, what is on silicon. But more fundamentally, it's uh, a vehicle that can demonstrate that uh, those uh, structurally related IPs interplay uh, together in the right manner. I'm convinced that uh, what Dolphin is offering in terms of uh, fabric IP concept is uh, playing a central role. Could you highlight the benefits for green wave technology um, to use um, Click instead of conventional power management kits normally provided by foundries? What Dolphin uh, does with uh, their uh, Click solution is a safe way to control the opening on, uh, of a domain, which in practice means that you always keep in control the amount of um, charges you admit uh, within the domain that you are currently opening. So this is by construction, avoiding the uh, inrush uh, effect that is potentially destruct destructive for the circuit. Another fabric IP you decided to use is our Maestro module to assemble your activity control unit or PMU logic to, rather than designing it full custom. Could you tell us why? You can really focus on system level architecture and let the tool and the, uh, um, the flow that is behind the, uh, the fabric does the job for you. So this is again in productivity. And of course, uh, uh, again, uh, in terms of verification time, because things are, are, uh, has been validated before, the template has been validated before, and uh, you know, it saves you a, a very large amount of time. What were the benefits of uh, using the voltage regulators part of the Delta libraries, rather than designing voltage regulators of your own or using third parties um, voltage regulators? A voltage regulator is, is a matter of uh, uh, fitting to uh, your uh, SOC budget. So how much energy do you want to provision? Uh, do you need uh, only high current or do you need also uh, low current for the sake of uh, state retenti uh, retentiveness? And, and I have to say that there, um, the uh, Dolphin uh, offer is, is, is quite cool from the point of view that, uh, yes, these are pretty fine uh, IPs, but they are parametric enough uh, um, to give you the choice, for example, to pick up uh, the right sizing of your regulator for uh, what you need in your SOC. Uh, if you need a 100 milliamp, uh, you pick a 100 milliamp uh, DC-DC converter. And uh, you know, if you need uh, state retention, then you can also have this option. So ultimately, you end up with something that is possibly slightly less optimal than it would be uh, designing and, uh, and crafting it for your very specific need, but uh, which is not too far from being optimal and it is way less expensive and dangerous than uh, trying to design your own solution. Mm -hmm.